Oh, have I got an adventure for you today. Once upon a time, two innocent souls caught wind of a mysterious destination on the west coast of Wales. Oh. Grand Caving. Sort of. They parked up on a deserted road and they prepared for the adventures ahead. There was nothing spooky about the glorious Pembrokeshire coastline. They followed the pathway, keeping an eye out for frolicking seals as they went. Eventually, the pathway opened up and they were enchanted by the bewitching spectacle in front of them. Push the Rach, the witch's cauldron. This cauldron, accessible to only those brave enough to face one of three cave entrances and the surging Atlantic Sea. Our two innocent souls were ready to challenge any trolls lurking under the mystical bridge. Thankfully, there were none on this day. They were spellbound by this relatively unknown spot in Wales. Some indescribable force was calling them into the water, but they had to check out the caves on land first, obviously. The perfect spot to cast a spell on unsuspecting visitors, perhaps. The calling from the cave was relentless. The first soul entered the freezing water gracefully, kind of. The second soul stared, resisting the calling, until making his grand entrance. <laughs> the mystical force was stronger in the water, drawing them under. One. Two. Three. swept into the witch's cauldron as if by magic. This place, posing as a collapsed cave. The witch's cauldron is a basin of wonder. From the small bay, the two souls scoped their location. A noise captured their attention. Was this a lure to trap them in the cauldron forever? Oh wait, it's just a waterfall. <laughs> they were having the best adventure ever. They decided to check out the cave for monsters. You know, just in case. None up there. Any monsters? No monsters. This looks all clear. What's that? It's a monster! He's no match for our hero though. Look at him wiggle away like a wiggly thing wiggling away. Our little souls decide it's time to explore some more now that the monsters are gone. Do you see the magic in this water? Our heroes find their way to another cave with a little less headroom, a little more time underwater and definitely more chance of head injury. They press on anyway. Brave? Or maybe just stupid. Emerging in another magical cave with a safer exit by the looks of things. That's great. Wait. Wait, go back. What was that? Holy shit, the monster's back! 
time to make a quick exit. A relatively quick exit. Back in the cauldron, it's time for our heroes to find their escape route. There's just one cave left. Let's follow them and see what we find. Looks like a little bit of daylight. Wait, what's that? Whoa, did you see that? Did you see that changing colour? As if by magic. It's bright green like a magical potion. Pretty spooky. It looks like our two innocent souls have found their way out of the witch's cauldron. This time. Did you enjoy that story? I hope you did. I enjoyed showing you and I thought I'd give you some practical info to finish the video. So the nearest bay is Caber Bay, which is just north of um, the Witch's Cauldron. There is zero parking, so you will have to park on the street. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're not a confident swimmer. Um, the surges from the sea are quite strong, so check tide times. Make sure you're confident at swimming too. The next thing is obviously wear appropriate clothing. It was freezing when we went. Yeah, it's really cold, so just wear appropriate swimwear, clothing. And don't go alone. Take an adventure buddy. You know, these things are dangerous, so make sure you've got your back up there. And it's always better with a friend anyway. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share with your friends, leave me a comment if you're gonna go here or if, you're any, if you have any adventure ideas that I can um, do too.